Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to add and subtract days from a date object using the R programming language. In the video I'm going to show you an example and this example is based on the example date that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object appears which is called my date, and we can print this date to the RStudio console by running line 3 of the code. So after running line three of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our example date is the 5th of October, 2021. And now comes one very important part of this tutorial, which is the class of our date. And we can check the class of our date by using the class function as you can see in line five of the code. So if you run line five of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the character class is returned. So in order to add and subtract days from our date object, we need to make sure that our date object is properly formatted as a date. And we can do that by running line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the sDate function to convert our character date to a proper date format. So within the sDate function, I'm simply specifying the name of our date object. So in this case, our date object is called myDate. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object, which is called myDateNew. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see that another data object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called myDateNew. And we can print this new date to the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that the output is exactly the same as in the previous output. However, this time the class of our date is the date class, as you can see by running the class function again, and by applying this function to our new date object. So if you run line 10 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that this time the class of our data object is the date class. And if we want to add days to our date, we can use the code that you can see in line 12. So in this line of code, I'm simply specifying the name of our date object, and then I'm adding to this the value 100 in order to add 100 days to our date object. So if you run line 12 of the code, you can see that a new date is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this time the date is the 13th of January, 2022. So in other words, 100 days later than the input date. Similar to that, we can also subtract days from our date object as you can see in line 14 of the code. So in this case, I'm subtracting 100 days from our date object. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that another date is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this time it's 100 days earlier than our input date. So in this case, the 27th of June, 2021. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to add and subtract days from a date object using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.